hello friends in last video we created a contact page now in this video i am going to show you how you can display your contact so first of all we need to create one page so right click add add new item here i am going to take web form and i am going to write here my page name my contact and then select master page then add then we need to select our master page and then open so here we got now uh, i am going to write here this is testing and we are going to check only i made this page set a startup page and now i am going to run this page for checking the layout so we got here this is testing now in add a contact page we have this design so i am going to copy this just paste and then we need to complete this 3d iv and now here we can write anything now save and then going to run again and going to check yeah so now you can see we get here heading also and here we can add our content so now we are going to change heading my contact and now here we are going to display our contacts so first of all we are going to take here repeater repeater is a control on this control you, you can display your record so basically in repeater you need to give id so i am going to give id and you need to give property run net server now here you need to take three part one is header template one is item template and third one is footer template just consider you have 20 records in your table then this item template will move 20 times this header template move only one time at the beginning of repeater and this footer template will move only one time at the end of repeater it means this is for heading so it will repeat only one time this is the item template this is this will repeat uh, up to your record and this is the footer template this will repeat only one time at the end of your repeater so here i am going to start table and in footer template i am going to add this slash table now here i am going to give heading so tr then th here first name we don't need to display last uh, username because we are going to show only our record that's why first name last name then th contact number then th email th address city you can see we want this heading one time only at the beginning of our repeater in, in beginning of our table that's why we use this table tag and this tr on our header template now in item template we are going to display record from our table so here tr td1 tr2 tr3 
here less than percentage as evil and here we need to give our table column name first name now here we need to change last name then contact number then here we need to give email so i am going to give here email here we need to give resident address you need to write same same value here column name which you use in your table and here i am going to take city now here we can give on last table and table border so now we pass here all the values and now right click here and we need to move on code here we need to write using system dot data using system dot data dot split line and now for connection string we can copy this from add contact we can paste here from add contact we can copy this also so copy and paste now here we can write sql command cmd text cmd dot execute non query data table dt is equal to new data table sql data table da new sql data table cmd yeah and now r1 r1 is the name of our repeater here we need to write select star from add underscore contact where username is equal to single quotes in between double quotes then plus plus sign and here we need to write session username dot to string it means uh, if you are logging as a username abc then you will get only your record here but now we need to give a menu here so here add contact add contact dot asps now copy this li paste here my contact and here we are going to take my contact dot sps now make this login as a set a startup page and i am going to run login now i forward on my contact and you can see i had one record in my table so i got here now i am going to add here more record
now I am going to submit so contact added successfully and now I forward on my contact and you can see I got that that record also so in next video I am going to show you how you can uh, search record means you hundreds of records thousands of record then how you can find any record and then we are going to perform here edit and delete operation thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again